In the third millennia BCE, early astronomers from Mesopotamia mapped the stars, giving names to constellations and planets. They called the red planet Nergal, after their god of war. For the ancient Greeks, the celestial body was likewise their god of war, Ares. The ancient Romans gave it the name we use today, Mars. Over a thousand years later, in 1609, Galileo used the newly invented telescope to get a closer look at the red planet. By the 19th century, advanced telescopes allowed astronomers to see details of the planet's surface. They saw what came to be thought of as vast canals, surely evidence of civilization. People became fascinated with the idea of life on Mars. And then, in 1964, we did something those Mesopotamian astronomers could only have dreamed of. We sent a craft, the Mariner 4, on a 228-day journey to orbit the red planet. Viking 1 touched down on July 20th, 1975, and sent back the first images from the Martian surface. On NBC Nightly News, astronomer Carl Sagan reacted to this unprecedented feat with a characteristically broad perspective. I think it uh, gets to something very deep in, in human nature. The, the will to explore, the lust for discovery, the curiosity, I think, is something built extremely deeply into us. It's an essential part of our nature, and the Earth is all explored. Here is a way with inexpensive machines of extending ourselves beyond our planet. And uh, I'm just delighted with the whole business. We've since landed seven more objects on Mars to study topography and geography, and in the process, learned that those canals, which incited such a frenzy, turned out to be nothing more than an optical illusion. NASA landed the InSight lander on Mars in November 2018 to finally explore the interior structure of the four and a half billion year old planet and give us a greater understanding of all planetary evolution, including that of our own. The next step may have been inevitable since those ancient Mesopotamians first began to look up. From NASA, to the United Arab Emirates, to the private company SpaceX, several disparate plans are underway for us to make the greatest journey in our history as a species. Will we get there? Carl Sagan thought so. Maybe we're on Mars because of the magnificent science that can be done there. The gates of the wonder world are opening in our time. Or maybe we're on Mars because we have to be, because there is a deep nomadic impulse built into us by the evolutionary process. We come, after all, from hunter-gatherers and for 99.9% .9 of our tenure on Earth. We've been wanderers, and uh, the next place to wander to is Mars. But whatever the reason you're on Mars is, I'm glad you're there, and I wish I was with you.